HaKadosh Baruch Atev, we're going to continue with Davku Kaf Bet Amud Aleph. We are 122. Uh, A1, this is the Mishnah. We're starting from the Mishnah, the new Mishnah. Okay? Mishnah starts as follows. Nochri she'li ketaner. If a goy comes and he lights a candle for a Jew on Shabbat, or actually, we're first he's saying, first, let's go step by step, I apologize. Right? A nochri comes and he turns on a, la- a candle for himself. So Mishtamesh Loro, he says, so a Jew could, light to, could benefit from the candle because since the goy is lighting it for himself, so the Jew could benefit. The Imbishri said, however, though, what happens now if he turns it on for the Jew? So Asur. So then the Jew is not allowed to benefit from the candle because since he turned it on for him, so he's not allowed to benefit from it. Okay, this is a mistake that a lot of problems, a lot of times the Jews don't realize. The goy comes, he does the melacha for the Jew, and ah, but he did the melacha. Yeah, he did the melacha, but he did it for you. You're not allowed to benefit from it. Okay? Mile ma'im, le'ashkot be'emto. If the goy comes and he fills up water in a pit, which is a reshut yachid, in order to give to drink his animals, so so then the Jew could give the, his animals to drink after the goy. But if it was done for the Jew, asur is going to be asur. So imagine right now the goy comes and he makes a type of like a bridge or like a type of a, you know, a bridge to go down from the boat. So talking about one of these, um, kevish is like a ramp. Okay, so yored acharav Yisrael. So the Jew could go off as well. But if he did it for the Jew, it's going to be asur. There was a story with Gamliel and the Zekinim. They were coming on, on a boat. And they got to the port on Shabbat. So the, the Goy went and he made this ramp in order to go down. So then the Chachamim and Rangmaniel, the Zekinim and Rangmaniel, they went down after him. Okay? So it says the Gemara, Utsricha. We need both cases, right? Or actually three cases, all three cases. It was the case of the candle, the case of the water, and then the case of the Kevish, right? the ramp. So he says, Utsricha, you need all three cases. Why? If you're going to tell me it's the candle, it's a candle for one, a candle for a hundred, which means that the exact same candle is enough for one person for a hundred people. This is a very famous concept in Halakha, which means as long as you already had to light the candle or turn on the light, it's the same thing. It's not like you're adding light. It's the same light, right? That's what you're doing. Okay, so he says, but to do with water, why don't we make a decree? Maybe he's going to put more water in it because he needs more water. Right? So says the Gemara, fine. The Kevish Lamali. So, what do I need by the concept of the Kevish, which is the ramp? So, he answers the Gemara, he's coming to teach you the story of Ram Gamaliel and the Zikini. Fine. Next, Tanur Rabbanan. Basically, he wanted to teach us a story, and that was a story of the Alakha Lamaseh, so therefore he wanted to bring down that case, even though we needed other case. Tanur Rabbanan, we learned to the Braita. Nochri shaliket asabim ma'achil acharav Yisrael. The Nochri comes and he starts plucking grass for his animal. So now if he has leftover, the Yisrael could benefit from that for his animal. The Yim Bishri said, but if he was doing it for the Jew, Asur is not allowed to benefit from it. In Lema'im l'ashkodem tol, it's in Lachav apply with the water, if right now he filled up water to give to drink to his animal, the Jew could feed his animal afterwards. But if it was for the Jew, it's a sur. But Med, when you one of these words, Sheh Makirov, he doesn't know him. Aval Makiro, but if he does know him, a sur. Which means, if he doesn't know him, we're not going to suspect that he's going to start doing a favor for the Jew. But if he knows him, we do suspect that he'll do something for the Jew. Okay? So says the Gemara, any is it so? The Amar of Huna Marav Hanina. Says the Huna Neymar Hanina. Ma'amid Adam Beemto Agabe Asabi Mishabbat. A person could place his animal on top of grass on Shabbat. Avalo Agabe Mutze Bishabab, not on top of Mutze. Which means we're not going to suspect that maybe he's going to come and going to start plucking off from the grass and giving it to his animal. However, though, you can't put it on Asabi, which are Mutze, because maybe he will take it in his hand and he'll give it to him. Okay, so basically the concept of muktzeh people find more lightly, so we suspect maybe they're going to transgress the sort of muktzeh. 
But the other one, people are much more cautious, right, not to be mechalel Shabbat, so they're not going to pluck it up. So answers the Gemara, the kain la be'apa. He says he's in front of it, that he can't go anywhere else. As lehi ve'achla. Therefore, he's going to eat on his own. Okay? So he says, so therefore, we're not going to suspect, but he himself is not close to the Asabim, so we're not going to suspect that he's going to come and pluck it off. The animal is going to do it on his own accord. Okay? So Amar Mormor says, but Mary, we read one of these words. Share Makiro only if he doesn't know him. Aval Makiro, but if he does know him. Harim Gamliel Makiro, he says, one second. The story of Rabbi Gamliel, he did know him. He knew, the, he knew the pilot, he knew everyone there. He knew the sailors, he knew what's going on. So I'm going to buy a buy a session of the I wasn't in front of him. Meaning, if he did it in front of him, he for sure did it for him. But if he didn't do it in front of him, he was doing it for himself. He wanted to get off the boat. Okay? So Rava, man, Rava says, even if you do want to say it was in front of him, same answer. If he wanted to get off the boat, he had to put down the ramp. So this same ramp, you could have another 100 people going up and down the ramp. It's all the same thing. It's a ramp. You need the ramp to go down. Okay? So they so they're going to ask the following question. Just one second. Question is, the Sheikh al was, is that they told him, Gamliel, since he did it not in front of us, that's why we should be able to go down. So this is actually a proof, right, to Abaye, not to Rava. It's a question against Rava. So, and so the Gemara, Eima, Hoil Vasao, not Hoil Shelo Bifanenu Asao, but rather Hoil Vasao, since he did it to go down with it. So that's why we could go down with it. So this is also like Rava. Okay, Tashema, we're going to try to bring another. Right, proof, but this is a question on both answers. If you have a city that you have Jews and Goyim living in it, and you have a Merchatz, which is Marchetzet, which basically is a bit of Merchatz, which basically they take showers on it on Shabbat. If the majority of the people are Goyim, so you're allowed to use it immediately. If the majority of the Jews, Till the time it takes, right, in order to heat up the hot water. So says the Gemara, Hatam ki mecham me adayta drubu mecham. And he says, no, there it's different there because they're heating it up. So when they're heating it up, they go by the majority of the people. So therefore, it all depends on the majority of the people. The majority of people are Jews, it's Jews. The majority of people are going goyim. It all depends who's the majority of the city. Okay? Fine. Tashima, we're going to try to bring another question. This is a question against Rava. If you have a candle which was lit in a party or in a group, you're allowed to use it. So the Israel is allowed to use it. But if the majority are Jews, Asur. Mechza, Mechza is also going to be Asur. So therefore you see from here, right, if the majority are Jews, it's like the Goy knows the Jews and he's doing it for the Jews. So therefore it's Asur. So answers the Gemara, no, Hatam Nami also over there, it's the same thing. When they're going to light it, Adaita deruba madleke. Yeah, one twenty two B, which means that he, when they're lighting it, it's lighting it on the on the 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 concept of the majority of the people. Okay, so that's what we go after the majority. Shmuel ikla lebe avin Turan. So Shmuel he went and he visited the house of avin Turan. So there was a guy that came and he lit the candle. So Shmuel turned away. So Kevin the Chaza the Aiti Shtarek Kari, but once Shmuel saw that he took a document and he started reading it, meaning the Goy, not only did he light the candle, so he, when he lit the candle, Shmuel turned away, but then he saw that the Goy was reading. So then Amadi he said, Adai to the Nafsha, the lake, he's doing it for himself. Adrin Lape, you've got a So then he was able to benefit from the candle. Adrala Kokitve, and we finished the Perek of Kokitve, which means that the fact that Shmuel realized that the Goy was using it for his own accord. And the proof was that he was reading with it, so then he was able to benefit from the candle, and that's what he did. Okay? So now this pedic is going to speak about a lot about mukse. So we're going into the concept of mukse, what's mukse, not mukse. Okay? And we're going to start. All the utensils, you're allowed to carry them on Shabbat, and also the doors with them. Even though the doors were taken off from the utensils, 
which is not going to be like the delet to the house. The house door is going to be prohibited, right, to move. If you shenam in Muhammad, it's not normal to start moving it. Right? But other utensils, their doors, it's normal to move it, so it's going to be permitted. Hotel Adam Kurnas. Lefatsea Boeta Egozin. A person is allowed to take a patish, a hammer, in order to break through the Egozin, to break the walnuts. Kordom, or a garzen, like an axe. To cut this fig, uh, you know, type of a, uh, like a cake. Megera, right? A saw, la gurbo, et agvina, to cut. Um, the cheese, magrefa, right, in order to ligrof bota grogot. How do you translate magrefa in English? It's, it's like a spoon or a type of yae. Uh, sho- shovel to scoop. Shovel, scoop. Uh, shovel to scoop dry figs. Okay, the dry figs. Shovel. Shovel, okay. The rachat is this is like in order to, to uh, winnow the, the grain. It's like, a, I don't know, again, all these things are. So rachat is how do you translate rachat in English? Why knowing Sh- shovel? Winnowing a winnowing shovel. Okay, but a mazleg. Sorry, a malgez. Malgez is like a mazleg that has it's like a pinchy uh, three type of it's, it's, uh, a pitchfork. 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 Yeah, that it love the katan, the place the katan. Et akush ve takirkar itchov bo machat sheliad. Right? And also the kush. Kush is in order that would be used for the sewing. How do you call it in English? Spindle or weaver. Spindle or weaver. So machat shaliyad, you're allowed to take a needle to take out also a thorn. The shel sakaim are a very big needle, which usually they use to, to, for the sackcloth, to open up the door. Okay, give me one second. Here we have the pictures. So the first picture is the patish, like the hammer and the saw. This is for the cheese, right? Which is like the, again, the, then this is the next one, the magrifa. This is like the shovel. This is the pitchfork. Okay, this is the different types of the needles. The kush, this is for the, the kneading, right? The wind stool or whatever the spool, right? And then this is the needle. And this is the doors and everything that they come off. Okay? Fine. So says the Gemara. It says like this. Kola kelimi talim. All the utensils are able to be carried. Even though the doors fell out on Shabbat. Not only during the weekday. Adraba obzet bishabbat muchringa behave avien, which means on Shabbat, if it fell off on Shabbat, on the onset of Shabbat, it was still part of the utensil. But bechol, but during the weekday, if it fell out, emuchringa behave avien, it's not fitting on Shabbat for it, so it's another opposite chidush. Right? That means basically it's a much bigger chidush to say that it was attached on Shabbat and it became detached than it became detached before Shabbat. So I'm Rabbi, Rabbi comes and he says, Achi, come on, this is what we need to say. All the utensils are able to be carried on Shabbat and their doors as well. Even though it take, took off on Shabbat, you're able to carry it on Shabbat. Okay? Fine. Tanu Rabbanan, we learned in a brayta. Delet shel shidat tevat shel migdal. A door, whether it is of an agala, which is basically that they make for women, which is like a shidat, it's like a type of a caravan that they make with women, for the women with the doors. Shel teva, teva is like of a box, or migdal, or is like another type of like a, an, an aron. Um, a, a, a trunk. A trunk, right? That you're able to come and you're able to carry it, right? But he says, you're allowed to take it off, but you're not allowed to put it back on. But of a chicken coop, you're not allowed to take it off or put it back on. Okay? So it says the Gemara, Bishma shel lul shel I understand a lul shetan golim. Kasavar bezi holds given the mechabre beara. Since it's going to be connected to the ground, yesh binyan bekarka v'yesh mistira bekarka. There's binyan u'istira not in kelim but in karka. So since this chicken coop is attached to the ground, it's like you're atta- you're you're destroying or you're building something which is attached to the ground. Ela she shidav shetavat omidal my kasava. But what is the reason why by shitat el omidal, which is basically you know like by the closet or by the trunk or by this caravan? Why do we say that now it's not allowed to? 
איכא סביב יגנת אבי יש בינם כלים, יש סטירה בכלים, ואין סטירה בכלים, אין בינם בכלים. He says, what's the second? What's the difference? Why is it you're allowed to take it off, you're not allowed to put it back on? ממה נמשך? Do you say that there is בניין וסטירה בכלים? Or there's no סטירה בניין וסטירה בכלים, which means that when I take it off and put it back on, does it consider that I destroyed or built a utensil? Or don't you say it? So I'm going to buy it, buy it comes and he says, לעולם כסבה, really he's going to hold, there is בניין בכלים וסטירה בכלים. ושניצלו כמה, you took it off, which means that if you took them off, then you're not allowed to put, put them back on, okay? So Amalei Rava, Rava comes and he says, שתי תשובות בדבר, I've got two questions against this. One, it's written מפורש ניטלים, right? That's, that's number one, because it said וניצלו כמה, it means ניצלו, it says ניטלים. ועוד and furthermore, מה יבוא לא מחזירים, what does it mean that you're not going to be מחזיר את זה? אלא אמר רבא, ורבא רבא סס, כסבא בניין מקלים, אין בניין מקלים, אין מסתירה בכלים. Right? So he says, really באמת, he holds, there's no בניין מסתירה בכלים. הגזרה שם נתקע, אבל זו גזרה, maybe you're going to put it very hard. You're going to stick it in, and it's going to go, you know, with the pegs and everything, very, very strong, so then you're going to be חייב מכזה מרכב בפטיש, you're fixing an object. Right? The finishing blow, the finishing touch. And that's why it's going to be a סור. Okay? Next. נוטל אדם קורנס, a person could take a hammer to break, you know, walnuts. So I'm an aviudar of you that says, קורנס של אגוזים נפצים ועושים. If it's a hammer for walnuts, to break the walnuts. אבל של נפחים, if it's going to be of a, of a blowsmith, of a blowsmith, no? No, what's it? Something smith. Blacksmith. 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 No. So he says, כסבר, so it comes to, it comes to teach you. דבר שמנחתו לאיסור, אפילו יוצר גבוה אסור. Something which is a cliche שמנחתו לאיסור, which is like a blacksmith, that you're doing it for Yisru. So even Tzor Gufo Asur, you're not allowed to do it even for Tzor Gufo. Amal Rabba, Rabba says, but let's see the Seifa then. Ela Me'ata, the Seifa Diktani, the Seifa that we saw, et ha-rachat ve'et ha-magez l'tet l'av katani, you're allowed to put a child there. What does that mean? So it says, rachat u-magez mi mi'achad el l'katan, do you designate it for a child? What's going on? What does that mean right now, you're doing it for a child? Yeah? So says the Gemara, El Amar Rava, but rather Rava says, you're right. You're allowed to take a blacksmith's hammer to break the walnuts. So Kasavar, he holds, Even though it's a Klishim Nachto Le'isur, which means that they use this utensil for Nisur, as long as it's going to be in Tzor Kufo, it's going to be permitted, which means as long as you're using the body of the utensil for a good use, it's permitted. And with that, we finish the da. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.